Are you interested in studying at Vanier College? Well, this video will give you all the answers to your burning questions on how to apply, what to apply to, and what to do if you've been accepted or refused. Here are the admissions frequently asked questions answered. Vanier's application system is SRAM, that's S-R-A-M. And it stands for Le Service Régional d'Admission du Montréal Métropolitain. SRAM encompasses all of the public French CGEPs as well as a few English CGEPs, Vanier included. Through this application system, you may choose only one CGEP and one program within that CGEP. So, choose wisely. The application system works with rounds, meaning if you are not admitted into the one program and one CGEP that you applied to first round, you have a second and third round to try again. The fall semester has three rounds and the winter semester has two rounds, but there will be more on that later when I start talking about deadlines. Most programs do fill up first round, so you must choose wisely when picking your second and third round programs as well. Don't worry in terms of payment when it comes to applying to second and third round. The $30 SRAM application fee covers all the rounds. Then again, don't forget to pay that fee or else your application might be invalid. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, what? Fear not, SRAM has a trial module to help you practice your application procedure. However, even though you complete the practice run, don't forget to actually submit your real application. Once the application procedure to Vanier College is completed, we recommend that you print or screenshot your transmission receipt. This receipt has your student number or file number, which you are required to log back into the SRAM portal. They explain the process for sending or uploading documents to SRAM, and finally, how to make your payment. Please do not send any documents to Vanier. SRAM gives you the opportunity to upload these documents on the application portal. If you send your documents to Vanier, SRAM will not be able to see them and therefore cannot process your application properly. The application system is only open twice a year, one for the fall semester and one for the winter semester. If you want to attend Vanier starting in the fall, the application deadline for round one is on March 1st. Applications become available as of mid-January, and for the fall admission, you have three rounds. If you want to attend Vanier starting in January, which is the winter semester, the deadline for that is November 1st. Applications become available mid-September, and for the winter semester, you only have two rounds. We generally get less applications in the winter semester, but do keep in mind that there are less spaces open as well. For example, if you are applying to start in January, please make sure that your program is open because not all programs are open for the winter semester, only the fall. Also keep in mind that these applications are not first come first serve. There is a thorough evaluation process that needs to be done. Do not leave your application to last minute either because sometimes there are additional documents to send in and you might not be able to before the deadline. Some of these missing documents might include a transcript from previous schooling, for example, or a birth certificate if you're not a Quebec resident, but all of this will be indicated in your application if necessary. For most high school students born and studying in Quebec, these documents will not be needed. Some programs, however, do require additional information or documents from you. For example, a letter of intent, a possible interview, and even an audition. Choosing your future program is probably one of the most important decisions of your life. Trust me, I've been there. At Vanier College, we have a variety of programs in many different fields that might appeal to a lot of you. So our number one suggestion to you is do your research. Getting accepted into your future program is not based on how interested you are in the subject, but we evaluate your files based on academic strength. All of our programs are quite competitive, so when you are applying, please make sure that you meet the minimum requirements. Consult with your guidance counselor or contact us at Vanier if you are unsure. If you do not have the prerequisites needed for a certain program, do not worry, the dream is not over, there are ways around it. We have a program called Springboard to DCS, also known as Explorations, or in French, Tremplin Deck. There are two profiles to this program, so make sure you choose the right one when you're applying, or else your application might be invalid. The Passages profile is for students who would benefit from additional academic support and to help prepare them for CGEP life. Because, let me tell you, CGEP is way different than high school. The Prerequisites profile is for students who need prerequisites for a future program. Now this next part is very important. This is for students who have never taken a math or science prerequisite before. If you're applying to prerequisites to improve a grade that you already have, you will be refused. Once again, this is only for students who have never taken a math or science prerequisite in secondary four or secondary five. 
The prerequisites profile is also reserved for students wanting to go into a science program or one of our technology programs that require a math or science prerequisite. This works differently if you're interested in a commerce program or the social science with math. If you require the math prerequisite, we encourage you to apply to the regular social science program and contact one of our academic advisors. When applying for Springboard for DCS, you must indicate what your future program plans to be. This way, we know how to evaluate you. There is a drop-down menu in the application procedure that indicates, I don't know. However, do not, and I repeat, do not select this option. Otherwise, we will not be able to assess your file properly and you will be refused. Si vous êtes francophone ou si vous venez d'une école francophone, il n'y a pas de note minimale dans votre cours d'anglais. Il n'y a aussi pas de test d'anglais à passer avant d'appliquer. Par contre, le sujet préserve le droit de passer un test d'admission en anglais si le juge nécessaire. Dorénavant, vous aurez un examen de classement à passer que j'explique en quelques moments. Si vous appliquez à un cégep anglophone, c'est parce que vous êtes déjà un peu à l'aise en anglais. Si vous voulez améliorer votre anglais, vous pouvez appliquer à l'école de langue, Bainé Language School, où on donne des cours pas crédités en rédaction et en communication en anglais. The same goes for you in English. If you want to improve your French or English skills, you can take non-credit courses at Vanny's Language School, but this is optional. In terms of English and French tests, for high school students, there are no necessary exams that you need to pass in order to get into your program. However, the college does reserve the right to test you on your English or French skills if we deem it necessary. For French, based on your marks in high school, that is how we will place you in your French course. Yes, there is a minimum of two French courses that you must take in CGEP as part of your general education. For English, there is a placement exam. Not entrance exam, placement exam. And this will determine your level of English for your four English courses as part of general education. No, I got refused. My dream is over. No, it's not. If you get refused first round, contact the admissions department to find out why you were refused. And this will help you make your choice for second or third round. Once again, you do not need to pay another $30 fee in order to apply to another round. Please be sure to verify the table of available programs before you make another choice, because as I mentioned earlier, a lot of our programs fill up the first round. Woo! I got accepted! This is most probably a conditional acceptance. The reason for this conditional acceptance is usually stated in the acceptance letter. For high school students, it is based on completing your high school diploma, as well as obtaining the prerequisites needed for your program. To confirm your acceptance, all you have to do is just call your friends and tell them you got into Vanier, right? Wrong. To confirm your acceptance, you must pay your student fees by the deadline stated in your acceptance letter. If you are accepted to more than one CGEP, congratulations! But you must make a decision. Either cancel with Vanier or cancel with the other CGEP and pay your Vanier fees. You might not be aware, but by holding two spots, you are preventing other students from getting admitted into their programs. If you do happen to be in this position, you will be contacted to make a choice by a certain deadline. Failure to do so within the timeline will result in getting cancelled. Yes, you, cancelled. So please, make a decision. I know it's a tough one, as I mentioned before, but do be mindful, as there could be consequences. If you are a student with a learning or a physical disability, once accepted to Vanier, we suggest that you contact our Access for Students with Disabilities department in order to discuss the accommodations that you would need to succeed as a Vanier student. If you have a change of heart with the program that you're currently enrolled in, you can always do a program change. We recommend that you speak with one of our academic advisors before doing so. You must start your studies in the program that you have been admitted to, and a program transfer will only be available as of your second semester at Vanier. Program transfer forms will be available in your Omnibox, and the deadlines are March 1st or November 1st, depending on the semester you are switching into, fall or winter. If you watch this video and you still feel a little lost, don't worry, there are a lot of online resources that you can access. Visit the Vanier College Admissions website for a full list of FAQs, or contact the admissions office if you have questions specific to your case. If you are an international applicant, your questions may vary and may not have been answered here at all. So, we suggest that you contact the admissions department directly. Bonus! SRAM launched a website called Pygma. That's P-Y-G-M-A. On this website, you'll find a list of all the programs from all the CGEPs in Quebec. And this might help make your decision a little easier. Because once again, with SRAM, it's one program, one CGEP. We do hope you choose Vanier, and we welcome you with open arms. Wishing you the best of luck.